I mean, come on, Astro. You can't be upset. You knew this was going to happen. is going on everybody how are y'all doing we have breaking breaking news i had to put this video up on the channel to keep y'all up to date on the fire happening in the video game sphere breaking news xbox is coming out with their own dual sense controller that's right first have to give a shout out to one of my sponsors he does have a youtube channel broken nation go check out broken nation tell him obi-wan plays sent you but this comes from broken nation he did send me this on discord and the through the twitter user ps5 only a pl uh U.S. patent filed in December. So this was just filed by Xbox and it's copying the PlayStation 5's dual senses adaptive triggers and they're renaming it, they're rephrasing it as clutched force feedback triggers. And here is a picture of the official patent. So this isn't a rumor, this isn't a leak, this is real. This is probably going to be happening. This is why I say this is very likely going to, in fact, be happening. Sometimes patents don't come to fruition. They patent it, then things they don't like, they just they scratch it or whatnot. But this is why I think this is really going to happen. Couple, couple reasons why. But I was just talking to someone yesterday. And they were talking about the Xbox Elite 2 controller. I have it. I have the Elite 1 and the Elite 2. But I was telling them, bro, the DualSense, I like the DualSense more than Xbox's premier controller. When you're playing Astro Playroom, you feel the direction the wind is blowing from. Crazy stuff. I'm playing through Sackboy right now. He's running in the cotton. You feel the soft textures of the cotton while you're playing. One more example, and then we're gonna go. I was playing multiplayer Sight Boy with the sponsors yesterday, and boulders were running across the screen. Bro, on the dual sense, you felt the boulder running through from the left side of the controller all the way through to the right side of the controller. Crazy stuff. The, even the triggers, the um, force feedback when you're playing shooters like Call of Duty, you feel it with the different weapons you're using. And so, I really was saying to myself, it's not a matter of if Xbox is going to have to come out with a more advanced controller, a matter of when. Because every third-party game that launches this generation... Sony would have the definitive version of that game as long as they had the controller. And so it looks like Xbox is playing catch up now and they will be coming out with a DualSense type controller. Now here's the next thing. Um, Nintendo has their HD rumble. Sony has this whole DualSense with the adaptive triggers and the haptic feedback and so now with xbox and they're branding it clutched force feedback triggers i'm wondering is it just going to be the triggers or will it be the entire controller where they're adding uh, hd advanced rumble within the, the actual controller if they're going to improve their controller they got to go for broke they have to have the whole haptic feedback the whole shebang like Sony has done. Now, here's the next question. Is this going to be the Elite 3 controller, a Premier controller, or is this going to be packed in with future 
Xbox Series X controllers. Here's the next thing. One of the complaints of the Series X is it just feels like an Xbox One X. When I'm looking at it, I just see an Xbox One X, the same controller as last generation, everything. And so part of me is saying they should just include it with the console. The next thing is, what about everyone who's already bought an Xbox Series X? And so you got to burn a lot of customers. Now you get a new controller. So um, Xbox put themselves in a, a, a sticky situation. But I have to let you guys know. And US is an official patent. Xbox is coming out with their version of the DualSense controller. This is the best gaming controller ever, bro. <laughs> I'm not even over exaggerating. The creativity and innovation in this controller, you have to feel it for yourself. Y'all, if you were there on my PlayStation 5 launch screen, launch stream, just the title screen of Astro's Playroom, I was blown away. Boom, how it was popping. And as Astro ran across the letters, you felt it along the controller. And so, um, Xbox couldn't go the whole generation just watching Sony run away with this this technology because um, they were going to be at a disadvantage with every third-party game that's going to be released. So time will tell. We don't know if this is going to be a separate Elite controller or if it's going to be packed in with the console. Um, we don't even know when it's coming out, but the patent was revealed this month, December. Xbox is coming out with clutched force feedback. That's what they're dubbing it. Why Xbox always try to sound so dude, bro? <laughs> clutch force feedback, bruh. Clutch in the clutch. All right, next news item, bro. What if I told y'all there could have been a Kanye Nintendo game? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. According to former president of Nintendo of America, Reggie fils the dude you see in the intro of all my videos. Um, I bet him at E3. But he shares a story how Kanye one day visited Nintendo's booth during E3 and end up having a, um, a, a meeting, a, a separate meeting with Reggie fils um, And this is what Reggie fils said. Um, he was experimenting, and I quote, with a piece of video game content. He wanted reactions to it. He comes out and says, I want to work with Nintendo. Reggie says, we had so many different projects at Nintendo going on. The possibility of doing something with Kanye, Kanye just wasn't there. And so I had, a, I had to find a way to politely decline this opportunity to work with him. Bro, what a missed opportunity, bro. Kanye, his name would, would sell gays, bro. I think this decision had more to do with Nintendo of Japan than Nintendo of America. I think Nintendo of America would have worked with them, but Miyamoto's like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Next news item. Digitimes. Digitimes is reporting that the PlayStation 5 has shipped 3.4 million units its first four weeks and here's a next sticker to this title it's expected to reach up to 18 million units in 2021 huge numbers the highest ever initial shipments for a playstation console i reported on that before but the fact that the expectations are 18 million units for 2021 and i think it can happen shameless plug go check out my last video on the 2021 playstation 5 games and based on that lineup of confirmed games you'll see why i agree sony will sony will pass that 18 million marker number next year so we'll have to see all right and the last news item for this video if you're a fan of playstation plus and the free games that come along with the service stay tuned tomorrow tomorrow at 4 30 p.m december 30th 
Uh, we should be getting the announcement for the January PlayStation Plus games, which will be available on January 5th. So tomorrow we should be getting the announcement for what free games we'll be getting in January. We got that Bug Snacks in December, a PlayStation 5 game. We're getting Destruction All-Star in February, PlayStation 5 game. Could we be getting another surprise PlayStation 5 free game in January? Would be pretty lit. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I didn't even do a bro this video. Um, I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.